product which is known as botulinum toxin has been medically approved for 30 years. It's frequently used to cure a medical disorders such as migraine, muscle pain, bruxism, and excess sweating or hyperhidrosis. Let's talk about its indication in aesthetic world. Botox is a preventative treatment. Skin aging alters skin quality and texture in several ways. Less collagen and elastin production, more skin dryness or atrophy, less turnover of new skin cells and other changes. With two aging mechanisms, either uh, intrinsic factor which link to genetic or hormonal effect or extrinsic which the lifestyle play a role here as smoking, sun exposure, even poor nutrition. Face expression like frowning, smiling, and other emotions cause facial muscle contraction and wrinkles. With age, the skin loses its elasticity. As a result, this wrinkle can become permanent line if not treated early. Doing the Botox treatment early helps minimizing the skin wrinkles and lines. We achieve this by injecting Botox into the required muscle using a certain dose depending on the area. It will relax the muscle by blocking uh, the chemical peel signal from there that make the muscle move. I always advise my client to start Botox treatment as soon as they can appear, even if they are in their uh, mid-20s or 30s, so it's better to start. We have agreed that Treatment with botulinum toxin can make the facial expression lines or wrinkles less noticeable or essentially disappear. The most treated area we are treating with Botox is the frown lines, the crossfit lines, the forehead area or the uh, above the upper lip, uh, vertical neck lines. Botox is diluted to very controlled solution and injected to the muscle with a very thin needle. It's almost, uh, almost Painless, client may feel a slight burning sensation while solution is being injected. The procedure takes about 15 to 20 minutes max, and the result can last three to six months. With repeated treatment, the result may tend to uh, last longer. Before having the treatment, it's important to understand all the details and get the information from credible sources such as experiences or qualification of the doctors who will perform the treatment, the treatment plan, what the expected result, side effect, and potential risk. This treatment is not recommended for a pregnant woman or breastfeeding, and if you have allergy to any other substance or uh, with a family history or personal history of neuromuscular disease, this treatment should be avoided. Performing Botox injection can be tricky because everyone has different facial muscle movement. We need to ensure that the toxin will only affect the specific muscle treated. Thus, we need to make decision on how much, where and how deep to inject to prevent surface migration of the toxin and to prevent any side effect can be happen. For example, people who have heavy eyebrow or excess skin on their upper eyelids, it's not advisable to do Botox for them, as they rely on the forehead frontalis muscle to keep their eyes open. There are different opinions about post-treatment instruction, but I recommend my client they should avoid touching or massaging the treated area Avoid exercise at least 48 hours after the treatment and not to lay down about uh, four to six hours, especially if the toxin injected in the forehead or around the eye. There's always possibility that the toxin can be migrated to the upper eyelid and inactivate the muscle called levator palpebra muscle. This muscle holds the upper eyelid up and may cause lid or brow tosses. Also to avoid sun exposure and hot shower as it can may affect the effectiveness of the Botox. If they would like to do facial or any laser treatment, it should be after at least 14 days. The result would take approximately 4 to 7 days to start appear and last up to 3 to 6 months depending on the nature of each person and their lifestyle. 
After 14 days, I have to check the outcome because it's possible not to experience a complete block of the targeted muscle. So maybe additional toxin need to be injected. One time treatment will only result in temporary improvement. And here is the importance of following up the treatment at certain period and according to the doctor's advice. That assures the continuity of the result. Otherwise, wrinkles will appear again as it was before the treatment. The longer the interruption, the more observable wrinkles become. Some clients have resistance to the bacterium toxin if neutralizing antibodies develop. This is noticed when they initially respond well to the bacterium toxin, but then experience a decreased effect or no effect after the treatment at all. The main reason is not clearly none, but some studies show that the higher dose and more frequent treatment of bacterium toxin can increase the risk of Botox resistance. And some claiming that the genetic is a factor here. So I always advise to keep a gap at least four to six months between the sessions. Botox is generally considered safe and painless procedure if used in a small and specific amount and given by specialized doctor. But it's essential to understand its side effect, which can include temporary discomfort, headache, mild bruising, heavy sensation, especially in the forehead area rarely can cause double vision or allergic reaction. Sometimes it can cause temporary drooping of the eyelid and it happens about 2% of the cases. Usually this lasts 2-3 to three weeks. The broad process which doesn't just happen after a bad Botox injection. It can also happen with people who have pre-existing lid doses or with heavy eyebrows. Have to remember that the full effects of Botox injection won't be seen until after 14 days. What looks uneven today can look perfect the next day.